All right, so let's begin by uh, crossing your legs, seated position. Create some space for the discs between the vertebrae, length in the spine, and draw the shoulders down and away from the ears. And as your leg through the neck, tuck the chin slightly. Keeping your eyes closed now, let's focus on the three-part breath. Inhale for a count of six. Hold at the top for three big seconds. And then big exhale for a count of six. So let's go ahead and do a cycle of five at our own pace. Deep breath and stretch the arms out. Bring the fingertips to the ground and draw the chin to the chest. Go ahead and raise the arms up. Deep breath. Exhale, chin to the chest. Good. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, chin to the chest. One more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, chin to the chest. And take that left ear to the left shoulder, chin to the chest, right ear to the right shoulder, chin to the chest, bring the head up to neutral, turn to the left, up to the center, turn to the right, up to the center, hands on the knees, scoop hollow and round that back. Moving right into cat down, inhale, arch. Exhale left. Inhale, arch. Exhale left. Three more. Two more. One more. Big rotations all the way around. Bring the mini circles. And let's go in the opposite direction. Stretch those hips. Reach forward. Slowly come up. Switch legs. Reach forward. Slowly come up. Then raise the arms up. Deep breath. Exhale. Twist and look over this right shoulder. Four breaths. Head, 
Raise the arms up deep, inhale. Exhale, lengthen and twist and look into this left shoulder. Four deep breaths here. All right, let's go. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. One more time. And come back. Good. All right, rotate the shoulders, big rotations. Rotate in the opposite direction. And release. Draw the shoulders up, bring the shoulders down. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's do another breath exercise. Interlation fingers, elbows close to each other. All right, and now take the elbows up. And bring the elbows down. So let's do five of these. We're going to work on your breath and breath awareness. Here we go. Deep breath. Inhale, elbows up. Exhale, elbows down. Five more. And palms up. Let's sway back and forth, left to right. Stretch the side of the body. And now take this left hand and all the way reach over with your right hand over the head. Inhale, lift both arms up. Exhale, all the way over to the opposite side. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, over to the left. Keep going. Inhale, up. Exhale, over to the right. Coming back, let's bend the elbows 90 degrees. Take this left hand underneath the right elbow, just like this. Now take the palms to face each other. Big breath, bring the elbows up. Exhale, elbows to the chest. Keeping the back straight, draw the chin to the chest. Rotate that left ear slowly to the left side. And bring it back. Right ear to the right shoulder. And bring it back. Release. And let's do the other side. Right hand underneath the left elbow. Palms face each other. Deep breath. Elbows up. Exhale. Elbows down. Draw the chin to the chest. Rotate that left ear to the left shoulder. Chin to the chest. Right ear to the right shoulder. Chin to the chest. Good. Now take the hands behind you. Interlace the hands and fold forward, stretching the shoulders as well as the hips. Let the head hang. And then slowly return back to Supasana position. Bring the palms up, <coughs> lengthen the spine, lengthen the neck, tuck the chin in slightly. All right, with your eyes closed, take five deep breaths to lower the volume. Will you be able to hear me? <clears throat> All right, so five deep breaths. Get back to being grounded after all that movement. And we're going to move into alternate national breathing after this. All right, so close your eyes. Deep breaths. Inhale six, hold for three. Exhale, six. Cycle of five at your own pace.
One more deep breath. All right, make a fist with your left hand, last two fingers out and thumb. Take the thumb to the left nostril. Inhale through the right for a count of six. Hold three, two, one, and switch. Take the last two fingers on the right nostril. Exhale through the left for six. Inhale through the left for six. Hold three, two, one. Thumb on the left nostril. Exhale through the right for six. Good. Go at your own pace now for a cycle of five. One last time, deep breath. Hold three, two, one, and big exhale. All right, so now we're gonna do the emotional freedom technique. Increase the volume a little bit so you can hear me and the music. All right, so with this affirmation, we're gonna work on getting balanced and feeling grounded. So we're gonna repeat the affirmation three times. I am grounded, I am balanced, okay? So we're gonna take the index finger and we're gonna take the middle finger and we're gonna start at the top. Moving through all the chakras, here we go. I am balanced, I am grounded. I am balanced, I am grounded. I am balanced, I am grounded. Third eye. I am balanced, I am grounded. I am balanced, I am grounded. I am balanced, I am grounded. We go right below the eyes. Take my glasses off. I am balanced, I am grounded. I am balanced, I am grounded. I am balanced. I am grounded, upper lip. I am balanced, I am grounded. I am balanced, I am grounded. I am balanced, I am grounded. Chin. I am balanced, I am grounded. I am balanced, I am grounded. I am balanced, I am grounded. Throat chakra. I am balanced, I am grounded. I am balanced, I am grounded. I am balanced, I am grounded. Sternum, I am balanced, I am grounded. I am balanced, I am grounded. I am balanced, I am grounded. Solar plexus, I am balanced, I am grounded. I am balanced, I am grounded. I am balanced, I am grounded. Find the belly button for two fingers below. I am balanced. I am grounded. I am balanced. I am grounded. I am balanced. I am grounded. Root chakra. I am balanced. I am grounded. I am balanced. I am grounded. I am balanced. I am grounded. Good. Let's tap it all out. Check it out. Flex and point your toes down. Rotate the ankles. Rotate in the opposite direction. And before we begin our sun salutations and the rest of our practice, let's warm up by stretching our hamstrings. So find your space. Don't go too deep. Just find your end range of motion. Find a deep stretch. If it's discomfort, back away slowly. Try to keep the back as flat as possible as you lean forward. Doing this rounded back like this that beginners do, it really puts a lot of undue stress on the thoracic vertebrae and the business in between. So I'm gonna go in full 
well. Notice my back is straight. Lean forward. Okay. And yeah, you're bound a little bit, but not this exaggerated sitting back and trying to keep your toes. Okay. Hinge from the hips, lean forward. Four breaths here. All right, we're going to do a nice exercise that's more dynamic. Let's cross our legs into class in a position. I'm going to stay here in profile. We're going to take the hips and hinge. And we're going to flex at the hips, reach forward like so. And then we're going to take the hands behind your fingertips facing the hips, feet are flat, and lift up into tabletop, just warming up the whole body. Okay? So we're going to do five of these. Cross the legs, reach forward, and come up. All the way up, pelvis up. Good. Now cross the legs the other way so you don't get used to just one way. Lean forward. That's number two. And come up. Now cross the right foot over the left. This is number three. And come up. Now cross the left foot over the right. Reach forward. Good. And come up. That was number four. And last one, right foot over the left. Reach forward. And come up. And now hold tabletop. Keep those hips up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. All right. Face you now again. So now that we did that, we're going to stretch our hips. So if you have your bolster, place it in front of you. And now place the tops of your feet together. Soles of the feet together. Create a diamond shape for the legs. And we're going to stretch that lower back and hips before we move into anything else. So take the hands underneath the ankles, fold forward, four breaths here. And slowly come up, good, shake it out. All right, we're gonna use the bolster for our knees, protecting our knees, and move right into cat cow. So curl your toes under, have your wrists shoulder width apart, have your knees hip distance apart. Drop the belly, arch the back, lift the head. Scoop hollow and round that back, chin to the chest. Keep going, now arch, exhale now. Five more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Hip rotations all the way around. And let's go the opposite direction. When you're ready, we're going to do puppy dog pose. Armpits come down, hips stay up, open the chest, chin to the mat. Good. All right. Move the bolster away, come into Sphinx pose. So, belly. And hips on the ground, elbows on the ground, sphinx style. Draw the chin to the chest. Now bring the head up. Turn to the left. Come to the center. Turn to the right. Come to the center. And open up into seal pose. So your hips are still on the ground. You can straighten out the elbows. Feel the stretch in the hip flexors and the abdomen. And now push into child's pose. Big toes together, knees, hip distance apart. Five breaths here. As I say hello to you on Facebook, let's see who's out there. Hi, Suzanne. All right. So go ahead and stay here. Five breaths. And 
walk the hands over to your left side, right hand on top of the left. And walk the hands over to the right side, left hand on top of the right. And come back to the center. All right, we're practicing warm cups already. Take the hands out in front of you, curl the toes under, and let's move into our first dog. First downward dog, bicycle the feet, so bend one knee and then the other. Take the left foot to the center and bring the right leg up, three legged dog. Bend the right knee, look underneath the right armpit, turn to the right. Good, straighten the knee and shoot this right foot forward into a lunge. Good, find your block, place it to the inside of the right foot. Stay here in this lunge, turn the torso to the right, and lift that right hand up. Keep the hips square, just the upper body from the navel up, turn to the right, palm facing outwards. One more breath here. Good, bring the hand down, place the block to the side, and walk the foot back to your downward dog, bicycle the feet. Keep the feet at distance apart, sway the hips left to right. Stay to the right foot, left leg comes up. Then the left knee, look underneath the left armpit. Straight the knee, square the hips, shoot this left foot between the hands, lunge. Good, take your block to the inside of the left foot. Right hand on the block, left hand on the hip, turn to the left torso, keep the hips square. Left hand comes up, notice my left palm is facing outwards, keeping the hips square here. Monitor your posture, shoulders away from the ears. Three more breaths. Good, left hand down, place the block in front of you. And now the knee, the right knee, and the ball of the right foot, let it propose you forward to a forward bend. Good, let me face you. Inhale, halfway up, hands on the shins. Exhale, fold forward, let the head hang. Good. Inhale, arms are out, transverse, lead with the chest, fold through the chest, maybe perhaps a slight back bend here. Exhale, crab position. Good, all right, we are warmed up. Let's do our sun salutations. So place your bolster to the side for now. Have your water ready. Also, always have your blocks next to you since we are going to use them for our triangle pose, Trikonasana. So come to the front of the mat. Posture check, pelvic floor in and up, navel to the spine. Draw the shoulders down and away from the ears. All right, here we go. Prepare by taking three deep breaths. All right, let's begin. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, bend position. Arms up over the head, open the chest, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, send the right leg back, lunge. Good. Two breaths here. One breath here. Good, come up into a high lunge or crescent pose. And of course, if this is too much, drop the back knee down. Whatever floats your boat, it's your practice today. Two more breaths. One more breath. Good. Prayer position at the heart center. Come in with a twist. So take your right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Lunge with a twist. And again, if it's too much, drop that knee down. It's perfectly fine. All right. Here we go. Three breaths. But now we're going to have some fun. We're going to pivot all the way to the right to, into a warrior two. Keep the hands in prayer so you're balanced. Drop the right foot down, turn to the right. And spread the arms out transverse. Boom, warrior two. Three deep breaths here. Turn that right foot in. Left foot. 
foot should be straight and left knee over the ankle towards the pinky toe. Good. Now bring the hands back to the heart center prayer. Now square the hips and torso straight forward. And now raise your hands back up for your one. Three deep breaths. We always do warrior one, warrior two. Why not do warrior two, warrior one? Right? We can do it. Okay, now take the hands back. Use the ball of the foot to pivot back into this lunge. And from here, take this left foot back downward dog. Three deep breaths. Good. Inhale into plank pose. We're going to drop the knees and slowly drop the chin and the chest. Hips stay up, drop the hips down, forehead to the ground. And let's do a low cobra. So lengthen and lift. Hold here two breaths. Engage the back muscles, shoulders away from the ears, hug the elbows close to the rib cage. Exhale, come down. Inhale, curl the toes under. Exhale, push back up into your downward dog. Three deep breaths. Good. Set to the left foot. Raise the right leg up. Shoot this right foot forward, lunge. All right, you know the routine. We have to do it on the other side to be even and symmetrical. So rise up, find your high lunge or press it. Interlace all your fingers except index finger and thumb. Again, if it's too much, drop this knee down and push the hips forward. That's perfectly fine. All right, if not, rise up. Keep that extended, the left knee extended. All right, prayer position. Coming in now for a twist, take the left elbow to the outside of the right thigh. Same thing, drop the knee, the back knee if you need to. Three breaths here. All right, concentrate. We're gonna take the prayer position to the heart center, pivot all the way to the left, pivot your foot, bend that right front knee, and bring the arms out. Warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Adjust your foot, your left foot should be turned in, your right foot should be straight out, and your left knee over the ankle towards the pinky toe. Arms go along the line horizontally, shoulders away from the ears. Drift to your focal point, right middle finger. Three deep breaths. Good. Draw the energy back to the center, correct position. Square the hips. And reposition your foot, rise up into your warrior one on the side, three deep breaths. Good, hands down, pivot from the ball of the foot and allow the ball of the left foot and your left knee to propulse you forward to a forward bend. Good, inhale halfway up, exhale forward. Airplane the arms out, feed with the chest, over the chest. Exhale, breath position. Good, that was round one. Shake it all out. Let's see how everyone's doing. All right, enjoy the class. Now we're going to do a different one. Two more sun salutations. Each one is going to have a different combination of standing poses. All right, so come to the front of the mat. Keep the feet and distance apart. Lean forward, lean back, find that center. Bend the knees and then engage the quads, tailbone under, pelvic floor in and up, navel to the spine, open the chest and rib cage, shoulders down. Always do a posture check before we begin our sun salutations. Three breaths here before we begin. All right, here we go. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, prayer position. Inhale, raise the arms up. Open the chest and squat back down. 
Good. Inhale, halfway up. Back to flat. Hands on the shins. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees. And go ahead and send the left foot back. Lunge. Good. Take two deep breaths here. One deep breath. Good. Now use the ball of the foot to pivot. Turn your toes to about 10 o'clock. Drop the heel down. Hands on the hips and rise up to a warrior one. Good. In this warrior one, I want you to take the hands and interlace them behind you, opening your chest. All right. That's all you're doing here. Three deep breaths. And if you lose your balance, like I just did, reposition. Good. Couple warrior. Chest forward, arms overhead. Good, let go. Now bicycle the hips right into your warrior two. Transition here. I want you to really focus on your posture. Shoulders down, one long line, horizontal. Always don't bring that knee in. Keep the knee out towards the pinky toe. Focal point, right middle finger. All right, transitioning into reverse warrior. You can take the hand behind the back, right hand towards the back wall. Good, now slip this right elbow to the right thigh above that right knee. And you see where my left thigh is? Go straight up with the arm. So I wanna see one long line between the left hand and the left foot. So how do you do that and make sure that the alignment is proper? Take your left hand on the thigh, bring it straight up, good, and now turn the palm facing the floor, and you got a beautiful long line. Three breaths here. Good, let go straight out the front knee. Now, palms are facing the floor, arms are horizontal. Lean forward as far as you can, and then come down with your right hand sliding down the leg, perhaps to the ankle. And again, how do you check the alignment? Take your left hand with your right hand, bring your left hand up, and make sure you don't stick your butt out. So if I put a window pane in the front of you and a window pane behind you, uh, you would fit in between like a sandwich. You would be the ham, and the bread would be in the front of you and behind you. So you're sandwiched. Okay, so this is a hip opener. That's why we tell you to push your pelvis forward gently. One more breath. Good, release. And now is the time to micro bend if you feel tight in the hamstrings. And we're doing pyramid pose, so lean forward. You can straighten the knee if you want, you feel it flexible. Take your block now to the inside of the right foot. We're going to move into a revolved triangle or reverse triangle. So keeping the hip square, take the right hand to the right hip. Hip square, torso turns to the right. Right hand up, palm facing outwards. Three deep breaths. Good. Bring the hand down. Place the block to the side, come into your lunge, and right foot back. Now let go. Three deep breaths. Good. Come into plank pose. Drop your knees, chest, chin to the ground. Hips stay up. Exhale, hips come down. Forehead to the ground. All right, rise up to a high cobra. Hug the elbows to the rim. Lift the chest, elbows are slightly bent, shoulders away from the ears. Press your toenails into the ground and exhale, come down. Curl the toes under and push back up into your downward dog. Three deep breaths. Good. Center the right foot, left leg comes up. Bring it forward between the hands. Lunge. Good. Now turn. Use the ball of the right foot to turn your toes to two o'clock. Drop this right heel down. 
hands to hips and rise up, chest up, warrior one on the side. Three deep breaths. All right, open the chest, take the hands, interlace them. And hold the warrior. And bicycle the hands, out into a warrior two. Three deep breaths. And take the right hand behind your back. Reverse warrior, three deep breaths. Right, drop the left elbows, the left thigh above the knee. Right hand over the head. How do you know the alignment is proper? Start with the right palm on the right thigh and come straight up. Turn the right palm facing the ground. Straight out the front knee and lean forward as far as you can, coming into your triangle, Trikonasana. Three breaths here. Let's drop the right hand down, squaring the hips, coming into your pyramid pose. Again, micro bend this left knee, it's perfectly fine to do that. Find your block, place it to the inside of the left foot. Take your right palm on the block, left hand on the left hip. Twist to the left, keep the hip square. Torso to the left, right palm facing outwards. Three deep breaths. Good, drop the left hand down. Come back into your lunge and allow the ball of the right foot and the right knee back knee to propulsion forward to a forward bend. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Open the chest. Exhale, prep position. Beautiful. All right, one last time we can do this. I'm sure you're getting tired. So after this, we're gonna come back down to the mat. So we have one last sun salutation. So here we go, make this good. Back to the front of the mat, loosen the knees, tell one another. All right, here we go. Three deep breaths. Bend the left knee, put it down. Okay, so beginner level, side plank with the 
left knee down. Intermediate, right foot in front, left foot behind. Advanced, you can even find like this. But I would do that. Just stay right here. One more breath. Good. Come back with both hands on the floor in like And let's make this good. Chaturanga Dandasana. Then the elbows hover, hover, hover. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths. Two breaths. One breath. Center the left foot. Face the right leg up. Bring it between the hands. Lunge. Rise up. Press and pose. Arms forward. Right hand behind you. Twist to the right. Three breaths. Good. Left hand behind you. Turn to the left. Three breaths. Maintain your balance. It's not easy. Back, all right, bring the hands down, and you know the deal, standing split on this side. So bring that left leg all the way up, all the way up, 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 wherever it is for you. And then the right knee landed into a lunge. Good, this time, no chaturanga. <laughs> We're gonna come right into a plank and lean over to the left and bring the left hand up. Three breaths here, two breaths here. One more breath in this side plank and a delectable child's pose because you have earned it. Open the knees out, big toes together, relax. Four breaths here. Good. Come up on two. Your knees and round your back, chin to the chest. Good. All right. So for balancing today, instead of our usual tree pose, we're gonna make it different and fun. But take both your blocks and place them vertical next to each other. All right. So instead of the Hindi squat. What we're gonna do is bring the heels together and come onto the ball of both feet and balance. And why are the blocks behind me? Because that's, I'm preparing for the knee squat after this. So balance here, this is great for the ankles and the feet. And if you think this is easy, it's not. <laughs> so open up the arms if you want. Good, release. And now very gently and slowly straighten the knees, bring the feet out. And let's do it this way or this way, whichever feels comfortable for you. I like to keep it out so I have some, you know, surface area for my buttocks. Bring the seated position here. And the Hindi squat is usually very difficult without any props, but this makes it a lot easier. You're gonna sit on the blocks you're going to take elbow one to the left side, elbow two to the right side, arms together, lean forward. All right, since we already did the balancing. So you should feel a nice deep stretch in the inner thigh muscles. More deep breaths here. down, straighten out the knees, and bring the feet out. Good. Now center the left hand, raise the right hand up, twist to the right. Maybe perhaps twist deeper and take the right hand behind the back, and draw that right shoulder towards the wall behind you. Good. Release. Take it to the other side, center the right hand, left hand comes up, comes up. And if you want, bind and take that left shoulder towards the wall behind you. And release. Good. All right. Put the blocks to the side. And come into a child's pose again. Big rest here, four breaths. Beautiful. 
now grab your bolster, place it horizontal, and use your bolster as a guide. Come down onto the elbows, and as a guide, open the knees out into frog pose. And let the head hang. You can open the feet out into a true frog, stretching the adductor muscles, inner thigh muscles. Four breaths here. And come up onto the palms, knees together, and round your back. Create an egg shape with your body. Hands to the heels, chin to the chest, forehead to the knees. Good. All right. Come sit on the bolster and come into your butterfly. So you're at a good angle to really go deep into this pose. So keep your hands on the ankles. Again, elbows allow you to open up the hips, lean forward. Four breaths. And slowly come up. Drop your hips down behind. Bolster come into a straddle or extended wide angle pose. And now use your bolster to slide you forward and back as we move into our stretching even deeper of these inner thigh muscles. We've already done frog. We've already done hindi squat. And now to top it off, we're gonna lean forward and feel the stretch. And then we're slowly gonna come up. Now how does the breath move with this movement? Inhale to prep. Exhale, execute, lean forward. And as you're coming back up, deep inhale. And as you're coming back down, deep exhale. Three more. Two more. And one more deep breath. And this time, keep your knees and toes facing the ceiling. Stay down here for four breaths. Gently pull yourself back up. Use this bolster as we move to the side. So place your Right hand down on the bolster, left hand up, reach over the deep side stretch. <coughs> and come back. Left hand on the bolster, right hand up, deep side stretch towards the foot. And try not to lean forward. You really want to peel that armpit to face the ceiling. Two more breaths. And come up. Beautiful. All right, bring the legs together. And now we're going to work our abdominal muscles as we slowly work our way back down into that supine position. So try not to put your hands down. Round your back, one vertebra at a time. Come on down. All right, we're gonna do one shoulder bridge, bend the knees, keep the feet flat. Elevate the pelvis through the shoulders underneath. You take the hands to the heels or support the back with your hands. Five deep breaths here, stay as long as you want. I suggest five, but you can go down earlier. And exhale, slowly work your way down. Good. Let's do happy baby. Grab the hands to the soles of the feet, open the knees out, and rock back and forth, left to right. Uh, 
All right. Easy inversion. Grab your bolster. Place it underneath the tailbone. And bring the legs and the arms up. Hold here for two minutes. You don't have to do a thing. Let the blood flow reverse and relaxing the heart, focus on your breath. You can wiggle your fingers and toes. You can turn this into a stretch and open up the inner thigh muscles. Or just allowing the blood to flow in reverse. Let gravity do the work. One more minute here. All right, bring the legs down, stretch the hip flexors, and now tuck the right knee into the chest, keep the left knee straight, and switch. And relax, good. All right. Yoga Nidra is all that is left. So place the bolster behind the knees. And the last 10 minutes will be a nice guided meditation in supine position, Yoga Nidra. So with this guided meditation, let go of all expectations, let go of all worries or thoughts. And just allow yourself to drift off into this deep relaxation. We're going to begin with progressive muscle relaxation. Place an envelope if you want to reduce any external stimuli. Bring your awareness to your feet. Go ahead and point and flex your toes. Point and flex. Take a deep breath, and on the exhale, relax the feet, let them go. Bring the awareness to the lower legs, knees, and thighs. Squeeze those muscles tight. Take a deep breath. On the exhale, relax the thigh muscles. Let them go. Up to the hips and squeeze the glutes tight. Lift the hips up off the mat two inches. Take a deep inhalation. And on that exhale, let go of the tension. Let the hips melt and turn around. Now bring the awareness to the belly breath, holding and retaining the breath just in the abdomen, like an inflated balloon. Hold. Now open the mouth, face side, let it go. Now take that breath and guide it up into the chest and rib cage and hold. Big sigh, let it go. Now take the deepest breath that you can take. Belly, chest, rib cage, collarbone, hold. Big sigh, let it go. Up to the hands. Lift the hands up, squeeze, make a tight fist. Inhale, stretch the fingers out. Exhale, release and let go. Up to the shoulders and lift the shoulders up towards the ears. Deep breath. Exhale, release and let go. 
into the facial muscles, squeeze and squint the face tight. Stretch the face, open the mouth, stick out the tongue, release and let go. Let go of the lower jaw, from the upper jaw. Relax the lips, the cheeks, the nose. Relax the eyes, the forehead, and the scalp. Scan the body from head to toe for any remaining pockets of tension. Breathing into that joint, that space, that energetic space, perhaps your heart chakra or your root. Consciously on the exhale, letting go of that tension that's localized there. Perhaps some stuck energy or patterns. With each breath, release the tension. Breathing in the relaxation, exhaling out tension. Breathing in positive energy, and exhaling out any negativity. Let the chatter light pop up, and it's quite normal. See it for what it is, just simple distractions. Long time. The mind will settle. The neuron impulses. May them no mind anymore. It's just electrochemical energy that passes. So, in essence, you are not your thoughts. You are not your body. But instead, you are the dormant soul, the divine spark of the soul. Place dormant beneath the layers that create the tension. So let go of the physical layers. Let go of the breath and its emotions. Let go of the mind and all of its attachments. As you open up to your true peaceful self or soul, you open up to the divinity within you. So as a little creator it is made up of the bigger and so on and so forth. You are creating your own reality. You are creating. So let's guide our soul to a different place, a sacred space, a place where you can go to any time, anywhere. It's your sacred space where you go to rebalance, to ground, to be strong and gain strength. Through the stillness of the mind, think of the soul. See your soul underneath an old oak tree. You are laying down now, connecting with the earth and sky above. This old oak tree houses many birds that you see in the tree. And you notice rays of sunshine peeking through all the tree branches. And that energy is warm, nourishing energy. And as you connect with the earth that supports you, you connect with the nourishing energy of the sun. Feel its warmth across the feet and ankles, lower legs, knees, and thighs, hips, pelvis, sacrum, lower and upper abdomen, lower and upper back, from the solar plexus to the ribs, rib cage, Shoulder blades all relaxing. Warmth of the sun nourishing and relaxing the heart and lungs as you embrace the sun's energy across the shoulders and arms, forearms, wrists, palms, and fingertips. Feel that warmth across the neck muscles, the face, and finally the scalp. The whole 
body is relaxed. Breath remains calm. Your mind is clear. And your soul uplifted. Stay in that sacred space under the old oak tree. Enjoy the peace and serenity. When you are ready, come back. Come back from that deep relaxation, back into the body, wiggle the fingers, the toes. Stretch the arms and the legs, yawn if you need to. And when you're ready, turn over to the right or to the left side, whatever feels comfortable. As I read to you an oracle card by Kyle Gray, the author Kyle Gray, the angel guide for the guidebook. You can buy it on Amazon. The message for today is surrender. And it shows uh, a man with uh, Reiki hands and uh, really harnessing energy uh, from the universe. And it's kind of reaching over his head. All right, so let's read about surrender. Uh, the extended message, perhaps it resonates with someone out there. Surrender is a spiritual practice and it's not an easy one, but angels are working in your favor. And their miracles will unfold with ease when you move into a state of trust. So call back your power and stop allowing external forces to divert you from the miracles that you deserve. Take time to realize that in order to be helped, you must surrender your need for control over the situation that is on your mind. Hand over your concerns and the entire situation Hand it all over to your spiritual allies. When you do so, you will allow angels of light to swoop in and help everything transform. If you find yourself having difficulties letting go of the reins, it's because there's a part of you that's not willing to receive the help or the miracles that you deserve. Hand over all of your concerns to God and let the miracles flow in. Wow, that is a beautiful message. So you could resonate with that and, you know, contemplate that for the next minute. If that doesn't suit you, you can use a prayer of your own belief system, a mantra or an affirmation. If all of that sounds way too complicated, just simply count the breaths for a minute. Your mind will always wander. It's natural. You have the monkey mind and all those electrochemical reactions that go milliseconds, right? So it's okay. See it, witness it and bring yourself back on the task of meditation. That is why we always practice this at the end of yoga. The whole purpose of yoga is to tire ourselves out and be flexible enough to sit in this meditation. All right, here we go at the sound. Let us begin. Take a deep breath, raise the arms up, overhead, palms together, exhale, prayer position. And always, as always, thank yourself for coming to the mat today, connecting your body, your mind, your soul 
Remember that each day is a gift and never promise. Use your day wisely. Find your purpose. Find your passion. Spread your energy and your light to the world around you. And always remember, your health is truly your greatest wealth. So cherish your practice. Continue. Be fit. Be fierce. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. All right. We'll turn out soon. Till next time.